Hey, welcome to the Steel Lodge. Today we're checking out a native port of Ocarina of Time to Linux that also runs on Steam Deck. It has all the controls and everything set up and it runs at 60 frames per second. I'll be showing you how to set this up in the guide and it's pretty straightforward. So let's jump right into it. The first thing we want to do is download Ship of Harkinian and you actually get it from its Discord. So if you just search it up, you can go to the Discord. Now I don't have Discord set up on my Steam Deck, but if you do, you can just download it on there directly. For me, I just downloaded the file on my PC, put it on a thumb drive, and then moved it over to my Steam Deck. So make sure to grab the Linux version here for the Steam Deck. So here I have the zip file for the Linux version on a thumb drive ready to go. I eject it, and then over on my Steam Deck, I'm going to move that file to where I want the game to be stored. And we're going to want to extract this folder once we're ready to go. Now for my installation, I just extracted it to my downloads folder and saved it on my internal SSD. The game's really small, so you don't need to worry about it taking up a massive amount of space here. Just keep in mind, wherever you extract and build the game is where it's going to live with all the saves and executables. Now once we've extracted it, there's a readme that gives you the process to actually build the game, or you can just keep watching the video. There's also the guide for the controls in there, the F keys, which will actually let you customize the game a lot more and enable things like 60 FPS interpolation for the game. I'll just brush over this for now, but I'll pull up the controls again when we actually get into the game so you can see what you want to map. But just keep in mind that the save states right now for the stable branch don't seem to work for this version on the Steam Deck. Now with that done, extract your debug version of Ocarina of Time into this folder. I'm not going to tell you where you can get this online, but it's really easy to find. And then just open the SOH folder and run the Linux app image. This doesn't take very long, and then once it's done, if you run the app image again, it will actually launch the game itself. Once the file is generated here, I'll go ahead and open the app image again, and you can see the game's up and running now. Now I'll just go ahead and full screen it here, but like I mentioned earlier, there are F keys that will let you manage the game to do things like enhancement for 60 FPS, and we'll go over that pretty shortly. And then F10 makes the game full screen, and you'll definitely want to map that on your Steam Deck so you can do it in game mode easily. Now adding the game to game mode is pretty straightforward. Just look for the app image wherever you stored it. For me, it's in the downloads folder, and then add that to Steam. If you want, you can go ahead and rename it there. You can add art too if you want, but for the purpose of this video, I didn't really add anything or change anything up. Now I've got the game running here in game mode and I full screened it by hitting F10, but if you'll notice right away, we're running at 20 FPS and we can change this using the interpolation really easily. One thing I want to know is that I do have black borders on the screen here, but on your Steam Deck itself, you won't get these black borders on the screen and it will fill the image for Ocarina of Time though. Uh, in a lot of the cinematics, there are black bars on the top and bottom for the anamorphic cinematic effect. Now I'm just going to open my Steam settings and view the game and then change the controls over here. Edit layout. Now I'll go ahead and set the right trackpad to a mouse and assign the right click so I can interact with the menu that I pull up using the F keys here to change the settings for the game. As I mentioned earlier in the readme and on the GitHub page, the F keys are labeled for what they do. And later on in this video, just a minute or so from here, I'll actually go ahead and pull up the keys to show you what they do. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and map the F10 and F1 keys, F10 for full screen and F1 so I can pull this menu up. And here are the other shortcuts if you wanna use them. Then we'll just go ahead and hide these because we want to go ahead and change the frame rate interpolation for this game. Under the enhancement section of the menu up here, go ahead and change the frame interpolation from off and then set it to your desired frame rate. For us, it's 60 FPS because that's the highest the Steam Deck can achieve here on this screen. And as soon as you do that, the game should update. And there's also a lot of other options there, but for this video, I'm not gonna be messing with them. But I would encourage you on your own time to go look for other videos and resources to find out what more of these enhancements for the game do. All right, now with everything set up, let's talk about the performance for this game. You can see it from the graph, this game's really easy to run on the Steam Deck, and that makes sense. This is quite an old game. So you're gonna get great battery life performance on here at 60 FPS. You can play for like five or six hours on a full charge, which is pretty fantastic. Now, I don't have as much nostalgia for this game as others because I only ever played this game at my friends' houses. I never had an N64 growing up, so I actually don't know a lot about the start of this game, where a lot of people probably know this like the back of their hand and can do it with their eyes closed. For me, it's just a fun way to access a retro game that a lot of people love. Now, you shouldn't really have to set up any other controls besides the F keys for this game, and the performance here is basically a locked 60 FPS, and playing this handheld looks a lot better than on the screen that I had blown up on, where it's upscaling from 720p to like 1440p. On the Steam Deck native on the handheld itself, it looks pretty good still. Obviously, textures are pretty muddy for a game this old, but as I mentioned before, I think you can actually use Texture Lotus for this and inject better textures, but I didn't really look into that for this video. Beyond that, I don't have a ton to say about this one, so consider subscribing to my channel. I have a ton of Steam Deck videos over there and some other content coming out as well. I'll just let some gameplay run out here, so have a good one, guys, and enjoy. Ah! 